Let's get started with the in-demand interior designer Ryan Sagian at one of his newest projects in the Pacific Palisades area of Los Angeles. Ryan is known for his bold interiors that manage to be both refined and playful at the same time. And this home is a perfect example of that. Let's take a closer look. Hi, my name is Ryan Sagian and welcome to the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles. This craftsman style estate was built in 2017 in one of LA's most prestigious neighborhoods. But when I did my walkthrough a year ago, I thought it was a little too vanilla and it needed some Ryan Sagian flair. So come on in and take a look at what I've done. So the living room was the first room that I actually tackled. With a family of four, two men and two women, I had to marry the feminine and the masculine. So I chose gemstone colors like purple. My background color was a very neutral gray. It set the tone for the entire space. My favorite pieces in here would be the two Kagan-inspired 60s sofas that we custom made here in Los Angeles. The fabric is a very durable chenille, perfect for a family of four. The pillows, though, are a very delicate slope, but that's okay, you can dispose of those every couple months. And to add a little bit of sophistication to this house, I had an LA-based artist make an acrylic piece of art that brings out the black in the fireplace and in the cowhide. Now let's head off to the adjacent dining room right behind me. When you're in a dining room, you wanna feel like you're homey and you're in a family unit. So the wallpaper in here, being that it has a horizontal pattern, feels like you're being wrapped up. Design tip number one, never stick to just recessed lighting. They make you look like a raccoon. You want lighting that goes directly on your face, and that's why chandeliers are my favorite type of lighting in dining rooms. These crystal chandeliers are everything. What I didn't like about most chandeliers is they're a little bit too uniform. With these, you can see the curves and the waves and the draping, and it makes it very different. In this space, the dining table and chairs is the ultimate anchor. This table set has brass inlays on the top and has a brass base at the bottom. The beautiful thing about the chairs is the exposed brass hardware on the sides. And even though this house is humongous, seven bedrooms to be exact, I have a fabulous boudoir that I would love to share with you. Let's take a look. This is the master boudoir, resort living at its finest. So I wanted to make this room really sexy, but I wanted it to be sophisticated at the same time. With beige and camel color basically being my palette, I needed to pick a color that would go with it. I chose pink, which is hot, fun, sexy, and adds a little bit of feminine flair to a very neutral color palette. The other big pop of edginess in this room would be the brass on the nightstands. And no master bedroom would be complete without an equally incredible master bathroom. Just take a look at that tub. Those telephone style tub fillers are as glamorous as it gets. And when you wake up in the morning, come into this incredible view. It literally reminds you like you're in the Amalfi Coast. But when you're done resting and done taking it easy up here and you want to have a little bit of fun, just head downstairs to the subterrain level. This is the recreation room, which is the kids' favorite room in the house. This is the one room that I wanted to have a little bit of rock and roll. The Mongolian fur, the leather tufted sofa, one of the coolest pieces in this room is the chess set that we have on the coffee table. The figures are crazy cool. And no rec room would be complete without a very cool poker table. And Al Pacino staring you down as you play. There's no rules in design. You gotta do what you love. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you really enjoyed touring this house just as much as I did designing it. See you next time.